Imagine that we've all been wearing blue sunglasses since birth, so that everything we've ever seen has been seen through these blue lenses and everything has looked blue. Do you want to be my prop on this? Sure. I'm so, a blue man. Uh, my blue color prop. I don't even live in Las Vegas. Thank you. Here. So, if we've never seen any color but blue all our lives, the question is, would we have a word for the concept of blue? And that's a great philosophical question, which we are not going to try to answer here. But it does suggest that we can't fully understand something unless we understand its opposite. And so to help you understand the concept of an argument, let's talk for a minute about things that are not arguments. So an argument, remember, is one or more premises offered as reasons to believe that a further statement called the conclusion is true, that is, corresponds to reality. Now, there's lots of things we do with sentences and with words besides express reasoning. So, for example, I have my Bob Dylan songbook here. And in one of Bob Dylan's greatest songs, he says the following. He says, once upon a time, you look so fine. Through the bums a dime, in your prime, didn't you? And is that an argument? Is Dylan giving an argument in his great song, Like a Rolling Stone? That's not an argument. And the reason it's not an argument is that uh, premises are not being offered in support of a conclusion. That is, Dylan is not giving one or more statements offered as reasons to believe that a further statement called the conclusion is true. What we have there instead is not an argument, it's a story. Or maybe it's a question. Who, who knows for sure what Dylan intended, actually? But it's certainly not an argument. Well, there's lots of things we do with language besides argue, that is, express reasoning. We tell stories, we ask questions, we give commands, we give explanations of things, we give reports, we, we give advice. And in each of these cases, an argument is not being given because reasoning is not being offered in support of a conclusion. So when you're looking at passages, texts, listening to people talk, an argument is being given only when someone is offering one or more statements as reasons to believe that a further statement is true. And if that's not being done, then an argument's not being given. So look at the examples in your course materials of uh, things that are not arguments and notice how they differ from things that are arguments and notice that in the cases of the non-arguments, clearly you don't see reasons being offered in support of conclusions. Being able to distinguish arguments from things that are not arguments is an important logical skill. So read the course materials on that too. Thank you.